NAM 2012 News brought to you by Groove 3. Hey, it's Russ at NAM 2012. I'm here with Forty, who's doing some cool stuff with Pro Tools Native and also with the Air Instruments. Uh, obviously, no introduction necessary uh, with what you've been doing. Uh, your charting successes have been wonderful, but your workflow is pretty cool, isn't it? You're on the road and you're doing a lot of stuff out the box, and let's yeah. just talk about that. So, what's your rig right now? My rig right now is a Mac laptop with a HD native card inside of it and an Omni, and I carry those around with me pretty much everywhere. So tell me, how do you get that native card inside your laptop? Are you, what's the, what's the, what's the, magma chassis. Are you using a magma chassis? But a small, short one, so it's really not that big. Okay, and cool, and you're getting some really good results? I'm getting fantastic results. Okay, so you're doing everything in the box these days? Everything. Okay, so talk to me about air instruments. What kind of air instruments have you been using on the albums and stuff? Expand and hybrid are like my diehards. I don't leave home without them, ever. Okay, what do you, what do you love about those instruments? I, my favorite, the reason I, people ask me that, like yeah. why, why yeah. expand? Well, one, I think it's one of the most efficient uh, plugins as far as resources and power. I can open a whole lot of instances yeah. and I never run into a problem. For me, as a producer and wanting to not have issues, that's a big deal. Two, it has a plethora of different types of sounds. I have electronic sounds, I have acoustic sounds, I have real pianos, I have electric pianos, I have everything in there. So um, that's a great go-to for me because where other things are, oh, do I want a bass, I'm gonna go here. Do I want a this, I'm gonna go to this synth. But for expand, I just open up expand, I got everything I want. So that's another reason why I immediately go to it at first. Um, and uh, I think most importantly because I trust it. I mean, it's, a, it's coming out of Pro Tools, everything's inside the box, it never leaves the system. And when I walk into any studio in the world that has Pro Tools 8 or 9 or 10, I know I can sit down, fire up a session, and get to work with nothing else. Sure. And that's awesome, you know? I mean, I did a record uh, last night, I was in the studio and um, I, I, with a huge artist, and I stopped at the end of the session, looked at it and realized, oh my God, it's all expand and hybrid. How hilarious is that yet again? Well, let's do the coin flip there, because hybrid's the opposite almost. Hybrid's one of these really cool synths. It's yes. got lots of modulation sources. Yep. You can almost modulate anything to anything. Yep. And also the fantastic way you can use the sequencer, not only as an ARP, but you can also use it to drive the mod sources as well. What, are you, what are you doing your own sort of stuff with that as well, programming? I'm definitely getting into the ARP on, the, on hybrid. I mean, the sequencing with that, the sequencer as an ARP for me is crucial. Uh, I, I go there for that a lot and get into some pretty detailed programming regarding it, you know? Um, so as far as hybrid is concerned, that's a great feature I love, but for me, it's just, it sounds big, you know? Um, it's, it's the sound, it's the quality, it's big, it works, you know? I don't like things that don't work or give me a hard time. That stuff works. I open it up, I'm out of here. That's it, that's all I need, you know? And nobody knows any different because I do a lot of processing and, and manipulation to my sounds. I don't, I'll take a stock sound real quick, um, but I like to add and change and use my time-based effects and a little bit of distortion and harmonic freaking stuff here and there. And that, that gives me the magic, man. we we'll just expand our hybrid. Okay, final question, because we haven't got much time now. Yeah. There's, there's lots of kids that look at what you're doing and think, I just want to do that stuff. What's your one bit of advice for all these young producers, young engineers, who, are, who, who could do what you're doing? You've just explained a workflow that they can have uh, at the box for three or $400, which is cool. So what would you say to them to say, to get them fired up for the next generation of producers? What I would say is don't ever turn to somebody else and say, oh, I can't do it, I need this, or I need that, or I need this. No, no you don't. You know, you got to be master of your domain and work with what you have at your resource. And, uh, you know, for a few hundred bucks, you get inside of a Pro Tools rig, you're mixing, you're recording, you're tracking, and you're producing in the same format, in the same place that every professional in the music world works in. And I think that's priceless. Uh, and you can bring it home and put it on almost any computer. And that's, that's important, you know, and I want people to know that. Don't think you need to be in a big room that costs $2,000 a day and need huge HD rigs. You don't. You know, all you need is a pair of headphones and a laptop, and you should be able to get it close to done. Thought it's a pleasure. Congratulations on all your success. Many more to come. Have a great NAM. Thanks, bye.